Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator's eSports Expansion. I'm your host, Big Jake901, and you can find more of my PC Building Simulator content by clicking the link down in the description. In the last episode, we moved into this nice new workshop. We also started working on our new team's computers. We got a little bit into it. We've got a lot more that needs to get done. If you missed the last episode, you should definitely go back and check it out so that you're up to speed on what's going on in this episode. For a quick recap, let's pull up our phone here. Let's go into the Was app. We needed to do a few things for different players here. As for Zenith, she wanted a liquid CPU cooler. Bye bye. Wanted three Corsair parts. And Rock and Socks wanted an i7 7820X. We also need to build a new PC for Zenith to play something at Tabletop RPG. We're not really sure what it is, but they just want to be able to play some sound effects and music. So it's not much of a overly powerful build. I've got something in mind though, which I'll show you in a minute. We also still need to put a G-Skill RAM in all of the computers. We've also gotten some new emails in. Let's take a look at this one. It says, hi, so apparently Zenith is hosting some tabletop RPG thing. Sounds kind of dumb if you ask me, but Fern said I have to go. Can you upgrade this old PC so I can take it along with me? If you can get it to run SoCar at minimum spec, at least I can play that if I get bored. Thanks. Bye-bye. P.S. It's a compact case, so I guess a lot of GPUs might not fit. Sorry. Okay, so for this PC, they just wanted to be able to play a soccer at minimum spec. So let's go ahead and accept this so it can start making its way here. Then we've got this one. It says, last but not least, we've got Rocket Socks. She's got a fiery timber, but thankfully she keeps it mostly aimed at our opponents. Mostly. I'm sure you won't have any problems if you keep up with her request. And how hard can that be? Right now, the biggest problem is her motherboard. It got damaged at the end of last season and needs replacing. But I figure this is as good a time as any to overhaul the whole build. Change out any parts you need to to get that rig in shape. I want it benchmarking at least 10,000 this week. Okay. So we need to get a 3D score of 10,000. We need to replace the motherboard. We need to get Strike Back Go installed to make sure it can run. And we need to get it done in three days. It also has some broken parts. So I don't know if that 390X is going to get us up to 10,000. We'll have to see. We will have to see. That power supply looks a little underpowered as well. So let's clear that out. Let's go here. This one says, Bye Bye is new to Trinity this season. Before this, she was at Paradox. Before that, she was at Vandals. And before that, she was at Aurora. Not sure how she'll fit in just yet, but with all that experience, it can only be good, right? We started putting together a build for her last month, but contract negotiations got delayed. You know how it is. And I don't think the computer ever got fully finished. I think it was mostly there, but you have to take a look and see if anything is missing. As long as it can run SB Go at recommended spec, it'll be fine. So we need to make sure this thing can play a Strike Back Go at recommended spec. Install and make sure it can run Strike Back Go, and it needs to be done by tomorrow. It's also missing parts. Yeah, I would say it's missing parts for sure. All right, so let's get started here. Let's grab Zenith's. PC. Is it this one? No, that's Dream Zenith. So Zenith just needs an AIO cooler installed. Let's put the PC over here. Uh, this case is big enough to pretty much hold any AIO. So we will get one of those put in the cart for that. But let's grab let's grab this one. Let's grab bye byes. Let's get that put here. Bye Bye's is not finished, but if you remember from our phone, they also want three Corsair parts installed. So we need to make sure that this thing can play Strike Back Go at recommended spec, and we need to get the rest of the parts put in here to get this running. So we'll have to get those put in the shopping cart as well. Now we need to get G-Skill put in all of these PCs. However, this one we finished in the last episode, we had to spend less than $500. Now, if I order G-Skill RAM and put it in this one right now, it's going to put us over the $500 mark. So we'll have to wait. Hopefully the next day, maybe we'll get it back and we can go ahead and put G-Skill in. We'll probably go ahead and order G-Skill RAM for all the computers, though. Then we've got Rock and Socks. 
This one needs to get a 3D Mark score of 10,000, needs a new motherboard, and needs to be able to play a Strike Back Go. So let's grab this one, and we'll go put it all the way over here on this workbench. So this one has broken parts. We're gonna have to figure out what's broken. We may have to order some other stuff, but we do know that this one needs a new motherboard, and we know from our phone that Rogan Socks wants an i7-7820X. So we're gonna have to get an X299 motherboard for this PC. And then last but not least, we've got that PC that we need to build for the RPG Knights. So let's go ahead and accept this one. It needs to get a 3D Mark score of at least 2,000. So hopefully for 750 bucks, we can make that happen. So I'm gonna step away, I'm gonna get all of the parts that we need, hopefully. Or at least most of the parts that we need for everything, including this build, all the parts we need to work on the PCs that we have. I'm gonna get all of that, put in the shopping cart, and I will be right back. All right, so for all the parts, we've got G-Skill, Rip Jaws 5 in black, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. One of the PCs, and I don't remember which one, already has this in it. So we only need to order three. So I've got those in the cart. For Zenith's PC, we're gonna put in a Corsair H115i Pro, which is a 250 millimeter AIO water cooler. Then for Bye Bye's PC, we're also going to put in one of these. So I've got two. We're gonna put in a Corsair RM850X and a Corsair 4 Series LE200, which is a 240 gig SSD. That should cover our three Corsair parts that Bye Bye wanted. Then for Rockin' Socks, we need to replace the motherboard, so we're gonna get a Gigabyte X299 Design Air EX, and then they wanted an i7-7820X. And down here at the bottom, we've got the 7820X. We're also probably going to need more power, so we're going to put a Shein Power King 600 in there. And then for the build for Zenith, we're gonna do an MSI MAG B460M Bazooka motherboard an i3-10100, we're gonna use a Cryorig M9i air cooler. We're gonna put in one stick of HyperX Predator, eight gig, 2933 megahertz. Hopefully the GT1030 will get us to that 2000 benchmark score that they're looking for. We're also gonna put in a gigabyte, 480 gig SSD. We've got a couple of 140 millimeter fans for the case. We're gonna put all that in the Antec P6 case. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done for today. This is two days. This was done. This was this needed to be done for today. So hopefully we'll get this PC back. We can put a stick of G-Skill RAM in it. Uh, this was the one that needs an AIO. So we're good to go on that. And the rest of this stuff just came in. So let's make sure we've got this for a next day delivery. Let's buy it all now. We can go end our day, we can get everything in, and we can get started working on all of this stuff. Okay. Go to work. Here's our boxes of everything. Did the PC... That's the one that needs... Oh, this is our case. Okay, so the other one didn't come back, so we'll have to probably do that in another episode. Which is the one that just needed... Uh, the AIO, it's the, this one. So, let's get the side panel taken off here. Let's get this air cooler out. And hopefully the AIO that I've chosen will work. And now we're getting more messages, hold on. They come in a huge wave of messages. Okay, I think we're done. Seven new messages, we'll check those in just a moment. Let me get this CPU cooler installed. So we've got a Corsair H115i Pro that's going to go in here. Let's grab that. What 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 just happened? That was interesting. I've never seen that before. I think this just needs to come off the top and we should be able to get this installed. What what is going on with the little timer thing there? That was odd. That was very odd. Hope, hopefully this is going to work to keep this cool. I see uh, what looks like maybe thermal paste has squirted out from around the edges. 
I don't know. We're going to have to figure this one out. Uh, we also need to put a stick of G-Skill RAM in here. So let's get this stick of RAM out. And let's go to memory. We've got some G-Skill Let's get that installed. We're going to have to run a 3D Mark test on this thing again, I do believe. Let's make sure it power's on. I'm going to hop into the BIOS real quick because I want to make sure. Okay, XMP is on. That's good. Let's let this thing boot into the operating system. Hopefully none of our settings changed. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to get 3D Mark running on this because we should be good to go. From our settings last time, let me go ahead and put this top panel on here. And we're just going to let this run. And we'll check on it here in a bit. Just make sure that everything works out. Okay, so Bye Bye's computer, I think is this one. So we need to make sure this thing can boot. It's not even completely built yet. Let's get this opened up. How do we even get in here? Um, how do we put, let's see, maybe this comes out. I have not built in this case uh, ever, I don't think. <laughs> we need to put Corsair parts in here. So we do have a Corsair power supply. That's going in this one. We've got the RM850X. So let's go ahead and install that. And that is not the right color cables. I think this thing had white cables in it. So let's unplug all of those. Let's grab loose plain white. Again, I don't know what all is broken. I think this one said it had, oh, it, oh, maybe this one was just missing parts. I thought this one was the broken one. I think that's the other one, actually. Let's see what we need to do to get this AIO in here, hopefully, that we got. The Corsair, we got another uh, H115i Pro for here. This one should be easy. And then this stick of RAM needs to go. So we've got a stick of G-Skill RAM. And we'll get that installed. And then we're going to need the storage. So we've got the Corsair 4 Series LE 200, 240 gig SSD. Let's see if we can figure out where in this case it might go. Where's the easiest spot? Maybe here. Maybe. Can this thing hold? Oh, here we go, on this back door. This workshop is so dark, it's even hard for me to see where stuff needs to go. So hopefully you guys can see, especially on these really dark cases. All right, so let's put some of the PC parts back in here. We've got the PSU shroud needs to go back in. And this dust filter up top. So it says that this can play a strike back go at recommended spec. We need to get the rest of the stuff installed. Oh, and we still need to check on our phone and make sure that none of these things that we're doing here uh, need anything else done. So let me hop into the BIOS real quick. We'll start this up. Let's make sure we've got XMP turned on. Booting from the right drive. We do need a USB drive in here. Let's go ahead and apply changes and restart. We'll let the operating system install on this new drive. And then we should be able to go ahead and get SB Go installed on here. This one might be done, minus checking our phone to make sure we don't need to put anything else on. So, Strike Back Go. Get that installed. And while that is installing... Maybe. There we go. Okay. This one says it's ready to go. Let's take a quick look at our phone. So Rock and Socks just sent us a bunch of stuff. We'll take a look at that in just a moment because that is the next one we are working on. This one is done though. Let's get this out of our way. We're gonna put this down here on the bottom shelf. 
This is the one we're probably going to work on this in the next episode. This is for the build that we're going to do today. So let's get that put there. And where is our board? There it is. We can come over here to the board and get our little post-it note for the build. We'll get that stuck right there. Okay, so let's check on this one. Looks like we just need to put the case back together. We got 10,743, which if I remember right was what we got in the last episode, which is way over the 8,500 that they are asking for. So let's go ahead, let's put the side panel on here. This one's done. Let's go put this one over here so we know that that is done and out of our way. We're gonna work on the build last, but let's take a look and see what Rockin' Socks wanted. Really looking forward to Zenith's RPG tomorrow. Bye bye, it better not ruin it. Seriously, all she's done since she got here is complain. Why did she even join? Sigh. Try not to think about it because it gets me angry. Which reminds me, can you throw some red lighting in my PC? That's RGB25500, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's start taking this thing apart, or at least opening things up. So we can see what's going on in here. Let's see, what were the parts? So we're going to take this out. I think this was a this is a 300 watt, 350 watt PSU. We're going to put a 600 watt in here. We also need to figure out what parts are broken. So we're going to kind of have to go through that. Hopefully it's not that graphics card, but it may be. It may very well be. This is the one that already had some rip jaws. RAM in it, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's get everything out of here because we've got to put in a whole new motherboard. All right, let's grab our new motherboard. Oh, that motherboard was broken. Okay, so we're going to be putting in the Gigabyte X299 Design Air EX. There we go. And into this, we're going to be putting an i7-7820X. So let's grab that. There it is. Why is that so dark? Like, I can't even see what that processor is. That's, that's interesting. That is definitely interesting. Let's put some thermal paste on there. And then let's go ahead and put some RAM. Oh, we got to go down here. Let's put some RAM in here. This was the one that already had the RAM, so let's grab the stick of used. There we go. Put that back in their PC. How do we access the top up here? Just take that off. Oh, I don't even think I needed to do that. Let's put that back on. Didn't even need to do that. Okay, let's look at CPU cooling. What they had may not fit. Yeah, they had this Alpine. So let's see. We could go with this Arctic Freezer. That would probably work. Or this one, or even the Be Quiet. Let's do the Be Quiet. We'll get that installed. And then... Actually, before I go to power supply, let's look at cable. Okay, it's white. I want to install their power supply because we got them a 600-watt Shein Power King right here. Let's go ahead and install that and let it plug everything in. Now, the real question is what about their graphics card? Is it broken? No. But I don't know that it's going to get because didn't they want a 3 Mark score of 10,000. Now, what did we put? Because this PC, we had to get a 3D Mark score of 10,000. But this one, no, it was this one. Or of 8,500. So what was in here? We broke 10,000 in this one. It had a 1080 Ti. I, yeah, I don't think the, oops. I don't think that R9 390 is going to do it. What do we have in our inventory here? I mean, we've got a 2080 Super. That would definitely get us there. 
<laughs> they'd be the only person on this team with something that powerful. Um, is it going to cut into our budget? We do it. I mean, we already had it in our inventory. I don't know that it's going to cut into our budget, really. So let's start putting this case back together. Get the PSU shroud on here. Um, which beauty panel? Okay, this was the front beauty panel. And then we've got the back beauty panel here. We can close this up. And let's go ahead, let's grab a USB drive. We'll get that installed. And let's power it on. I want to hop into the BIOS real fast. Let's turn on XMP. We'll get our 3200 megahertz speed. And let's let this thing boot into the operating system. We'll see what we need to do. We probably need to put 3D Mark on here. We definitely need to put SB Go. I don't know if we're going to need to overclock. But let's go ahead. Let's get 3D Mark installed. Let's get lighting installed because they wanted us to put some red lights in there. Um, I'm not going to put GPU tuner or anything. I want to see what it gets without doing any overclocking. But let's get Strike Back Go on here as well. Let's go ahead and let it restart. And then we'll get 3D Mark running. We'll see what kind of 3D Mark score we end up getting. So we need to get 10,000. I'm going to get 3D Mark running. I'm going to step away as soon as we have a score here, though. I'll come back, we'll see what the score is, and see if we need to overclock or anything like that. Alright, so without any overclocking or anything, we broke 10,000 by a whopping 15 points. So we should be good to go on that. Then they just wanted some red lights, so let's just change everything. I mean, there's really not that much in here that lights up, but let's select it all. Let's do 255 and zero, we'll apply that to all of it. And we should be good to go on this one. Then all we've got left to do in this episode is get this PC built. So let's put this one down here since it's done. That one that we're gonna work on in the next episode. Let's come over here, let's get this built. Let's get this case taken apart. There we go. And before we get too far into it, let's get case fans in here. I ordered some case fans. They're down here at the bottom. Let's get that in there. And let's get that in there. Then we need a motherboard. We've got the MSI MAG B460M Bazooka. We're going to go ahead and install that. Let's get it ready for a CPU and a stick of RAM. So for the CPU, let's do fits this PC. We've got the i3-10100. Probably way overpowered for what they're wanting to do, playing sound effects and some music, but hey. Then we need some RAM. And for that, we got this HyperX Predator 8 gig, 2933 megahertz. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, stick that in right there. Then let's get some thermal paste on the CPU. And we can go ahead and install our CPU cooler. We've got the CryoRig M9i. It's going to go right there. Then let's go ahead and open this up and get it ready for the graphics card. But before we put the graphics card in, let's go ahead and grab the power supply, which we already had in our inventory. We've got this Shein Power King 300 we're going to put right here. Hopefully... Maybe save a little bit of money? I don't know. We're going to find out. Then let's grab our storage. We've got the Gigabyte SSD, the 480 gig. Let's just put it right back here. And finally, let's grab our graphics card. We've got this EVGA GeForce GT 1030, which hopefully will get us to a 3D Mark score of 2000. We'll have to find out. <laughs> We're going to find out real soon oh that's right this motherboard doesn't have enough uh, headers for 
<laughs> for fans. So we're just going to take out the rear fan and it can just blow straight through. Then let's go ahead and, oh, not the front panel yet. We need the filter and then the front panel. And did that go ahead and cable up? Okay, it did. So we're at an incomplete case, that's fine. I wanna power this on. I wanna hop into the BIOS. And I wanna make sure we don't need to turn XMP on. We did, okay, we did. So before we apply those changes and restart, let's grab a USB drive. There we go. Okay, let's apply changes and restart. We'll let this install the operating system, then we're gonna have to put 3D Mark on here and hopefully, 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 we'll hit a 3D Mark score of 2000. Considering we only have about another $30 we can spend, I don't know how much better graphics card uh, we could put in here. We might be able to overclock it, I don't know. But let's go ahead, let's get 3D Mark installed on here. Let's go ahead and let it restart. And as soon as this comes back up, we'll get it running 3D Mark. But while it's restarting, because it's going to take a sec, it's a little bit of a slower SSD. Let's go ahead and put that back side panel on. All right, I'm going to get 3D Mark running. And as soon as this thing pulls a score, which is hopefully over 2,000, I will come right back and show you. All right, so we did not break 2,000. I don't think... That 1030 is going to do it, even if I overclocked it. I really don't. But I do have some other graphics cards in my inventory. Now, we might have to stick some in and kind of see where we go, but I mean, an RX 480 would definitely do it. And if these are the prices, I don't remember if this is what they go on. Let's find out. Let's power this down. Let's see if we can't put something a little bit better in here than the 1030. Uh, let's open up a second slot. And I mean, we've got an R9 280 that's worth 53 bucks. We've got a 480 that's worth 117. We've actually got two of those. I mean, I bet a 480 would get us there. Let's see what this does to our price. Yeah, 791, that's too much. That's too much. So, we're going to have to go maybe with the R9 280. And hopefully that'll get us there. Let's power this on. I'm going to get 3D Mark running again. And again, as soon as I have a score, I will come back and show you. All right, there we go. The R9 280, I think it was, got us there. We broke 2,000. By 197 points, that's not shabby at all. So, let's get this case put back together. And let's go put it over here in the delivery area. There we go. We should be able to collect that one. Let's get this out of our way. So this is the one we just built with a 3D Mark score of 2,000. Spent 711 bucks. Let's go ahead. Let's collect that. So we got a little bit of money back. We can go ahead and discard that one. Uh, this one we will have to get to in the next episode. And as far as I know, let's see. These are all done. And we're still waiting for one PC to come back in so that we can put G-Skill RAM in it. But yeah, everything is done. We're good to go. Of course, in the next episode, we'll end our day when we figure out what else we need to get done. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe right here to PC Building Simulator's official YouTube channel. Be sure to ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, there are other content creators making content for PC Building Simulator's YouTube channel. Be sure to check out all of the content that is available. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.